Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate a random record from a collection using the Adalo collection. It will be similar to what we preview here. So as you can see, we have here a generated value from a list. Then if I press this button, it will create another uh, random value as you can see. So now once again, Tiger again, guinea pig, and tiger again. So one first step that we need to do is create the respective collection. So for this exercise, we use the, the pets. Uh, and I created two um, columns, the name and the pet ID. So the pet ID is very important here because as you can see, we'll have the snake, the golden fish, dolphin, shark, tiger, and the pet ID and that will be used to create that random uh, value. Then if to, to build this, we will start by having a screen. I added a list. Uh, for this case, just a simple list of pets. And then as you can see what I did, I added pet underscore ID is equal to the input. So this ID here will be equal to an input field that I hid here below. So if I now uncover this, so as you can see, I have here two input fields, so input uh, and input two. And in the input two, I have a simple pet count, all pets, pet count. So it will give us all the pet counts of the list. So in this case, 10 records. And uh, then the input field where, as we can see, we have a custom formula where if I go in, we have a rand from one to input two. So basically is checking a, a random number bef between one and between here, this input two, the pet count. Um, the reason why I did not add uh, the pet count directly here inside is because by some reason, I think it's an Adalo bug, it's giving an error. Um, I'll then show it in the end what happens. All right, then when we click preview, just to show you here the, the fields. As we can see, the pet count is 10 and the random number generated was eight. And then by using the list with the filter, we have dolphin number eight. So as you can see here in the filter, again, pet underscore ID is equal to uh, input. Uh, this now has a twist because I had to add another screen because if I would be here in the home page where I want the random number to um, to be uh, to appear and then to generate a random value uh, and when I click the button I have to trigger again the the random and in order to do that I had to add an, another screen called, well, called whatever you want, generate a number in this case with the kind of a modal. And what I had to do is here in the button when I ask to, in order to generate this new number, is I linked to the generate number screen. Because what's going to happen is that whenever we are going to click the button, it's going to send to this screen. And then in this screen, I added an action. And the when a user visits the screen, to link back to this screen again. So as you can see, it's it's quite quick. And the reason I did this is because it will trigger, when it goes back into the screen, it will basically trigger a new random value and filter again the list. So as you can see, okay. So now here we finished uh, the process of triggering uh, a random value. In the case, I will have to uh, put the pet count here directly. So we can, we, I'm going to show you now what would happen. So you go here to the magic 
formula function pet pet count right then we close oh sorry for that one second okay now we need to change for okay equal to input that's fine now let's see if everything is okay Uh, it's actually working. Let's see, no, it's not working. So as you can see, it generates this error. So I cannot do anything with this. So probably this is an Adalo bug. I, I have to report this to Adalo. But as you can see, for now it's not possible to put directly the pet count in the uh, formula. So we actually have to use the input to again. So input to again. Go back. Give another preview. Okay, yeah, seems again back as you can see, it's working fine. And there you go. As you can see, you can use this method to generate random collection items from a list. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed, and let me know if you have any questions.